joining me at uh, Gloucester is Josh Gowning. Uh, one nil reverse for, for Hereford today. Your reflections on the match? Not good enough. Um, obviously, the, the free kicks poor. Um, the way we give it away in the first place is poor, but he's had three, three, three headers in the box. So that's poor. But I just, we, didn't, we didn't play. I, I just we wanted to get the ball down and play, and we didn't do it. We turned, went a bit too direct from my liking, and they just had a bit more intensity than us. And I think that's just where we're at at the moment. A couple of instances in the first half when you could have taken the lead, though. Yeah, we just we made bad decisions. So we got in the final third, and, and the pass, the execution of the pass wasn't quite right, or we didn't see the pass. Um, you know, and, and that's you know, look, they play quite a high line, and, and you know, balls over the top for Ryan and, and, and Toby were on, and we just didn't really execute them very well. And we were kicking balls out for throw-ins, and that's the frustrating thing. You know, we come with a game plan, we didn't really execute it very well today. Why did you think the players were a little bit lackadaisical then? They're not, they're not, they're not lackadaisical or, or, or anything. You know, Luke's come over to the fans at the end of the game to, to clap, and there's a couple of them that are shouting at him. I'm not going to have that. Someone's got to say something to say to my face, they say to me, not my players. So the players will always give 100% of everything they do. You know, and the fans saying that's the worst he's seen in 12 years. Well, he must have seen some good football here then. Because, yeah, we weren't great today, but it wasn't the worst we've seen in 12 years. The lads are trying to push. We're, we're trying to get to those places. Positions that the club have never been, since it's been reformed. And yes, we are, like, we know that. But we've got to keep pushing. We've got to stay together and, and push as a group. And they're devastated in there. Because, you know, it was a great opportunity for us today to really get close to those playoff places and, and, and we've let slip. So when you say not good enough, what are you alluding to? Just right a, across the pitch? Just or the performance, what? yeah, the whole performance. I just think, you know, we defended well the majority of the game. I thought the back four were okay. But I just think the decision making in possession was not where we are. And I, I, it's been creeping in the last couple of weeks for me and, you know, speaking to the lads about it. We won obviously Saturday, uh, Friday, sorry, at home and even in possession then for me wasn't where we need to be and the lads know that. Our expectations and, and, and what we could do. I'd like to think when we play against the better passing sides at this level, we're normally the better team and that's eluded us a little bit of late. Four points outside the playoffs for four games to go. You're not going to tell me it's all over? No, but it's frustrating, isn't it? Because you win today, where are you? And that's been us all season at the moment, hasn't it? You know, when you get an opportunity to, to claw those points back and, and get one one point outside of it, then you fall away from it. So that's the frustrating thing for us. When we're nearly there, we're just not quite hit over that barrier. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. Does that mean that the players are not quite there? The quality is not quite there? You're, you're on an almost successful Look, we've, side. we've got a young squad. That's what we've got. And with young players, you have ups and downs and, and you have inconsistencies with a young squad. Probably need a bit more experience in the side, that's for sure, and that's obviously areas we'll look at for next season. But right now, we've got to squeeze every ounce of us for the rest of the, the, the four games and, and see where we are at the end of it. Well, it's a good turnout from Hereford fans today, probably just under a thousand. Yeah, absolutely excellent. And they sung, they chanted. Even when we, we went to Gold Island, I could hear them singing, and we're still going to chant. <laughs> we're still going to sing anyways, it's brilliant. Hey, they're amazing. Our fans are absolutely amazing. The turnout today was epic you know the turnout on Friday was epic and you know we really do appreciate their support and look I understand when they come and they say performance like that they get upset and disappointed which is why I want to speak to them because it's disappointing and upsetting for us and you know there's, there's a fan saying he, he's been there for 12 years and, he, and we don't understand I'm the manager of the football club he doesn't understand how it affects us as a group you know we plan we work tirelessly this is our life and I get it's their lives as well it means so much to us to, to, to get and push on and get this club where it wants to be and we want it more than anything else and you know we'll, we'll keep pushing until we get there because a lot of players are contracts are up in the summer so that must be a bearing for you as well yeah of course we look at it you know we looked at it uh, you know Wembley last year and you know the, the pressure for some of the lads was a bit too much and you know looking at it as of late we probably need that bit more experience that those wild season pros a little bit more in the squad just to kind of get you through these moments so they're things we're gonna have to look at in the summer of course but at the moment we can't look at that right now we've got four games left and we've got to put everything into these last four games in the short term then what are your options next week at home to bradford in, in terms of what? what what playing staff can you rotate things even more well you've seen the squad in you? <laughs> there's not much rotations in there look you know we've lost mazzy we've lost Janai. obviously we're, we're thinner because of it and that's the reality of where we're at with it so you know the lads have got to step up that want those shirts and play and you know obviously people like toey and ryan have been excellent all season and you know the thing is, sometimes you're looking at, you don't want to just look at Toei to win, win your games of football. You've got to look at everywhere else. And I think t today, I think we look a bit too much for him to, to create a spark where, you know, we need it with him. Well, good luck next week. Cheers. Thank you.